what's up guys so we were headed to Katie Hearn to work out today um, currently we've been sitting in traffic for 15 20 minutes probably 20 minutes um, haven't even moved <laughs> other than some cars leaving to turn around so uh, not sure what I'm gonna do I might just turn around and go to the other gym um, this is kind of ridiculous so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but I'll show you guys the current situation <laughs> not moving so yep this is where we're at right now um, all right so we're finally moving a little bit uh, so I guess we're still gonna try to go to Katie Hearn so that's where we're headed see you guys when we get
She hit the thousand pound club. To share them gains. They're not for you though, they're for me. This is not even a quesadilla. Like, yes, it is. It's a that's an inch thick. It's a, yeah, it's a like burrito. In more than an inch it's thick. It's a burrito in disguise. I want to know how many pounds that that weighs. <laughs> it's probably a full pound. It's ooh, that's oh, no, hot. I'm thinking I don't want to burn myself. I'm thinking two. That's really Compared good. Compared to what I got, you even make me look bad. Alright. Of course. A little 17 year old beat. You sad. even <laughs> like got this more than I did. Sad. Why aren't you eating that much? You're, you're always over here like, I eat so much. I know, you're like, I'm gonna so eat so food. much food, y'all. You're so jealous. And then. And then you don't. I fucking killed it. <laughs> I mean, it was just. I, I like to spread mine out through the, throughout the day. I mean, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, if you're not gonna eat all of that, no, you're gonna save no. part of it for hell later. No. So. Like, I'm probably gonna like pick at this. I got it because I need two tacos. just wasn't enough. Yeah, all little things. Everything's so particular. <laughs> uh, <bro. laughs> but today, most of you don't know this, but I'm a little bit of an introvert. Um, so today was kind of a weird day. Um, I don't normally go out of my way to talk to people or anything like that, but we were meeting a friend of mine at Katie Hearn. Well, he had a couple friends with him. Um, and so I love just talking to other people who have the same interest in fitness as I do. Um, it's just the conversations are so strong and I don't know, like, genuine that it's like they have they are fi trying to figure it out while you're trying to figure it out um, I know that I still have a lot I need to learn um, but just having those conversations it's like you both are learning every day at, at the same time um, so just the people that I got to talk to at Katie Hearn today it was like the conversations were so easy uh, me being an introverted person getting me to talk a lot is not easy um, but 
we got to have those conversations. We ended up going to, out to eat as as you saw um, a Qdoba, but we were just gonna get food. We ended up spending about two hours at Qdoba, I think it was. Um, so just talking, talking about people in fitness, fitness in general, nutrition, macros. I mean, it was everything and it was like, <laughs> I know they probably got tired of listening to me because I did not shut up, but um, it was just a really great conversation. Um, sorry, it's got a little cold, um, but it was just a really great conversation and I enjoyed it a lot. So I think I need to do that a little more. It just shows that this really is a passion for me, um, fitness in general, whether it be uh this youtube whether it be just connecting with people through fitness and through macros and nutrition and coaching and everything that I, that comes along with it uh but just connecting with those people and creating genuine relationships whether it be with you guys that are watching this video or people that i see every day uh so that really came across me today and just that conversation so i need to have more conversations like that i mean i learned i learned from them just like they might have learned from me or i may have just thrown a bunch of crap at them that they already knew but uh so it was, it was really cool to just talk so that was my day today and it was not what i expected my day to go like but it was really good so we are out here taking Gage out for a walk. He's kind of been cooped up all day, so, because I was out for quite a while. Um, he's, uh, and then we're gonna take a shower, probably trim this nest, trim this mess of a beard I've got going on here. What's up, guys? As you can see, we trimmed up a little bit. Um, we just got out of the shower, kind of got cleaned up a little bit, but, we're gonna kind of relax for the rest of the night, but I just wanted to take a minute and kind of conclude this video. Um, I know I talked a little bit earlier, but I wanted to talk a little bit again. I am currently at the heaviest I have ever weighed. Um, I'm weighing in right now, right around 215, 216. Um, I do, I am seven months, let me figure out the exact date, it's uh, seven months, one week and three days out, um, so I still have a long time, uh, so I just posted a post on Instagram, I'll put my handle right about here. Um, that way you guys can check that out. Uh, I, I'm not shredded, I'm not tan, I'm not po extremely posed, there's no filter on it. Because it's not all about being 100% shredded. It's not about being, having a six pack all the time. It's not about showing off to everyone every <laughs> that you have a great physique i don't stay shredded 24 7 i can't i gr i want to grow so i know my body and that in that involves eating a lot of food for some of you who know me in person you you know how much i eat you know that i consume a lot of calories and my macros are very high during this time of my face um, so it's not about being the best you can look all the time um, it's about being content with where you're at I am I feel the best I've ever felt I'm the heaviest I ever I have ever been and honestly I look at myself and I look great yeah, I mean, I'm not obviously in competition size, um, but I, <laughs> there's a point and there's a time for that. Um, 
There's an off season for a reason. You can't be in competition mode all the time. Um, so I will be competing in my first competition in October, but I'm enjoying, I've enjoyed this time to just grow and I've spent most of my fitness career just doing that. So do I want to be shredded? Am I excited to be completely <sighs> dry and shredded? And yes, I am. Not because of where I will be for that. Not because of maybe the looks I'll get for that or anything like that, but just because I want to see it because I want to see where I'm at. See where I can grow, see all of that. That way, with next my next off season after the competition, I can hit those areas super hard. I can grow those areas. Will I be shredded after the competition? Probably not. For a little while, obviously, but I will probably go back into my off season and I'll grow. And hopefully, I'll have a new highway in. Um, so I'm excited for what's to come this year. But just want you guys to know, be content with who you are. It doesn't matter if you're shredded to a T or if you're, uh, if maybe you have a flat stomach. It is what it is. Be happy with who you are and strive to improve yourself in some way every single day. Whether you're in fitness and you love working out or you're not. I mean, just strive to be the best you can be every day. And just, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to improve in one thing, at least one thing, every single day. Whether it be spiritually, mentally, physically, doesn't matter. One thing I needed to improve on every single day. So far in 2017, I have done that every single day. Um, so just find that one thing that you can improve on every single day. Um, so that is kind of where I stand. I just kind of, I know I ran a little bit and I actually put it a lot of that in my Instagram post, but it's just about being happy with who you are. Don't, don't judge yourself based on others. I mean, you may not be as shredded as the guy next to you, but you may not need to be. <laughs> he might be competing in a week and you're competing in six months. Or he might be competing in, in bodybuilding and you're just trying to move some heavy weight. Doesn't matter. Your goals are your goals. Don't compare yourself to the guy standing next to you or the girl standing next to you or anybody else that you see, whether it be on Instagram or on Look up to them. Yeah, we can inspiration is the best, but don't compare yourself The only person who can stop you the only person who can Who you can for sure beat Is you The battle between you and you is a constant competition because you always need to improve There's always something that we can improve on and we need to push to be at least better in something every single day. And that's that's what that's my challenge to any of you guys or me and I've challenged myself with it all year long so far. Improve in one thing every single day. Like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions or if there's anything I can help you guys on, let me know. Um, the workout will be in the description. But that's it guys. Bye.